All right, let's talk a little bit about how we measure energy in food. So it's another way of measuring things. We've talked about measuring distances and volume and things like that, but we can also measure energy. And in terms of food, the unit that we use is joules. Okay, it's a measure of energy, but it's kind of really small. So we work in big clumps. In fact, we work in groups of a thousand. So 1,000 joules equals a kilojoule. And when we're talking about energy in food, usually we record it in units of kilojoules. Now, it used to be, you probably heard us talk about calories when we talk about food, um, but kilojoules is the more modern, um, the SI measurement that we use. And if you look at food labels, often you'll see a bit of both, but usually it's kilojoules and they might have a calorie conversion. So what's the relationship between calorie and kilojoules? Well, one calorie, it was 4.184 kilojoules. So that's the conversion between the two. Uh, so let's look at a couple of questions. All right, so what if you were asked to convert 120 calories, how many kilojoules would that be? Well, if one calorie is 4.184, we simply multiply. So in this case, it's 502 kilojoules. What about going back in reverse? So we're going to ask, or we've been asked to convert 4,300 kilojoules back to calories. Well, we're going to divide. And in this case, it's 1,000. And 28 calories, that's it.